This is Twit. Uh, so it's one line in your Wikipedia biography. Dodge was laid off from Microsoft November 5th, 2009 and became developer advocate at Google. I have a feeling there's more to that story. <laughs> <laughs> well, there always is. Uh, <laughs> I was laid off with 5,000 or almost 6,000 other people. So it wasn't a firing in the traditional sense where, you know, you're... It wasn't personal. No, it wasn't personal. Well, it was to me. Yeah, uh, but <laughs> yeah, it's always personal. <laughs> but it, but I was laid off with five or six thousand other people uh, at the time. But the end result is the same. Uh, you're gone, and uh, not randomly. Th there were reasons. Uh, so I call it the Scoble effect. Uh, <laughs> I'm sure Robert and, appreciates that. <laughs> <laughs> well, you might remember that. Uh, Robert Scoble also exited Microsoft kind of quietly and unceremoniously. But here's here's the effect, and here's what happened to me. Uh, the Scoble effect is when you are more famous than your boss mm -hmm. or your boss's boss mm -hmm. or your boss's boss's boss, mm -hmm. uh, these guys have egos. And, you know, they, they're smart guys, and, and they have thousands of people reporting to them, and they – want to be the face of the company. Uh, so Robert got to a point where he was the face of the company and there were some senior executives that weren't comfortable with that and they wanted a piece of that. So Robert was sort of shuffled out. Uh, about a year later or two years later, the same thing happened to me. Uh, in my case, it was along with thousands of other people, but that was the reason. It was because I was the one on stage at TechCrunch Disrupt or yeah, yeah. Uh, Web or uh, these huge tech conferences. I was the one writing the blog. I was the one that uh, the report would contact for quotes and reactions to things. And it was okay for a few years, but after a while, um, you know, some big egos were hurt and it was time to move on. However... Um it was to your benefit, uh, just as it has been to Roberts, uh, that you were that well-known. Because if you're not, it's going to be pretty hard to get that next job. Nobody knows what you were doing. and You might be known inside the company, but you're not known outside the company. In fact, I think it's, it's a, a great story because uh, Mike Arrington at TechCrunch wrote about you getting laid off. Vic Gundotra at Google saw it and said, we should call this guy. Because you were well known. That's right. It's you know it all goes back to blogging, Leo. Uh, blogging and speaking at conferences and that sort of thing. People knew who I was. Uh, so when it happened, uh, when Microsoft decided to lay me off, it was kind of shocking to uh, a lot of people. Certainly to me, uh, I had no idea. And Mike Arrington at TechCrunch, uh, when he heard, uh, he read my blog, actually. So the way it went down was that Microsoft uh, called me on the phone. I was traveling at the time and said, hey, uh, bad news, you're gone. And I said, hmm, okay, that's interesting. Um, I wrote a blog post uh, and said, well, you know, these things happen. And uh, I had a great five years at Microsoft and loved the people there. But you know what? It's time to move on, and uh, so I'll see what's next. Mike Harrington read my blog and wrote a post in TechCrunch, and then uh, the Seattle Post Intelligentsia, and the New York Times, and Wall Street Journal, and San Francisco Chronicle, and on and on and on it went. It just caught fire, <laughs> and it was surreal. <laughs> that has to feel good, though. I think that has to feel really good. It, uh, it did. It's you vindicating. Know, my mother, uh, who had no idea what I do, uh, <laughs> but my mother started reading this and she said, it sounds like you died and they're writing <laughs> eulogy to value. <laughs> it was surreal. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And yeah. because of that coverage and reaction, um, Google hired me. And I just saw our senior vice president at Google uh, just a week ago. And he said, Don, you know, you are still the fastest hire in the history of Google. <laughs> yeah. No, I mean, no notorious hire. for 60 interviews before you can get a job, right? Yeah. It usually takes three or four months. Yeah. Uh, mine was uh, three days. <laughs> That's awesome.
<laughs> <laughs> and and really, that must have been exciting because, uh, I mean, you look at your resume. I left off Compaq, by the way, but you look at your resume. Uh, what better company today to work for than Google? 